this is Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie, but today is my second Floss Tube video. What I'm doing here is unboxing something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. This is a Millennium Frame from the company Needle Needs, and it says it's coming from the UK, United Kingdom. I don't know what SO, I don't know what country this is from, but, um, well, it's in the United Kingdom. I'm not sure exactly where, but I've been waiting for this since December 18th when I ordered it. It took, they, they say it takes between eight and 12 weeks to receive your order. It actually took uh, four months, so it was exactly 122 days between the time I ordered it and the time I received it. Um, after they sent it, it only took five days to get here. Um, they did send FedEx, and um, I paid for it. So this frame, I'll tell you some information about it while I'm opening it. This is, I got the widest one they have because I needed it for my paid and I got a really large one that I'm doing. So I've been gathering the materials and organizing them for four months waiting. Well, off and on. I do other things like diamond paint also. <laughs> um, so let's see. The frame itself is... 27 inches so that's 69 centimeters and the side stretchers are the 8 to 10 inch size so that's 20 to 25 centimeters so this size of a, pat, of a frame is I purchased it in euros because I didn't realize I could change the monetary thing and um it was 49 7.78 euros which comes out to be 59.91 us dollars so 59 dollars 91 cents and then the shipping was 28.99 euros which came out to be 34 dollars 89 cents to ship it so t in total i spent 94 dollars 80 cents don't tell Jim. <laughs> he he doesn't care. Um, but yeah, that that is an awful lot to spend on a frame. So I'm going to you know check it out. And I've seen videos, but I am going to look at it myself and show you guys to see if it's worth the hype and the money. It, they've got it. They've got it packaged really well. I do hate to throw away this much bubble wrap, so that's why I'm trying to save it so I can reuse it. But that might take too long. It's, they use good tape too. Let me tell you. All right. Let's see if I can just slide it out. Nope. They've got it wrapped in layers, so I'm just gonna try and unwrap this and then I will come back to you. Okay. Boy, that was a chore. But it's all unpacked now. And I've seen a video on how to do this, but I will show you guys. And they send you your invoice and I do believe this will be instructions, yep. And it tells you to read the instructions carefully before you assemble it. Um, this is instructions for the 10 inch, which is 26 centimeters. And mine is much bigger than that. Um, like I said, mine is 27 inches. Um, so I'm, I'm actually gonna pause real quick, read over this so I can refresh my memory on how to do it. And then I will try to put this thing together. Okay, we're going to give this a shot. I just pulled out uh, one of my kits that are sitting here. This is in by no means what I'm going to be using this giant frame for. 
but um, it was conveniently sitting right here. So this is made out of, I don't know, some kind of wood, beach, I think it said on the package. Uh, they are very sturdy, and if you take care of them and do things the way they instruct, they will last a lifetime for you. So there are pieces that come with it. Is this? This is a plastic card, and this is what you use to um, insert your canvas into the slots. They also have these rods that are inside okay and I believe they hand make all these that's why they are they take um, so long to get because they're very popular and it takes quite a while to get to your order sometimes so what it tells you to do is you need to make sure you have like an inch and a half of material over the place you're going to attach it and like I said I'm not actually doing this one on here there isn't enough this frame is too big for this project because there's no way I'm gonna be able to stitch these top stitches while on this bar um, it is meant for a large project okay so I believe what the instructions say to do is to set your material over the bars and then you take your card and you push it in to the groove like so. And then you are to put your rod in with the pointed side first. So there's a pointed side and a flat side. So I'm gonna try and get it in the camera. You're gonna put it in here and if you look you carefully get it to go on top of the material that you just put in there and now it's in there firmly see it's I'm pulling on it it's not going anywhere okay so especially with this one it it needs to be straightened it says to tap the card where'd the card go my I lose things so easy I, I lost the card oh it fell on the floor and I didn't even realize it okay it says to tap the rod if you tap the rod I don't know it says to tap the okay there we go I'm tapping it and I'm able to pull out to straighten it. So I'm holding down the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. So there, um, it looks somewhat straight. All right, and then you do this. So that one's in, and then you do the same thing for the other side. So let's do it like this. Bring it up and then we're going to push it in and this is a really stiff canvas so a lot of cam um, material aren't isn't going to be so stiff but if I try to adjust it without the rod being in there I'll just end up pulling it out so it's best to do it after you get your rod in and here's my other rod put it in and we can see it going on top of the canvas Let's see if we can get there there we go we view it all the way down and now I've got my project in here and like I said I have the I got the really short ones but they can extend this far so my project can be either that wide or that or the 
yeah, the tall part. <laughs> All right, so the next part it says to do is to insert your, let me see if I can move it over a little bit so you can see the sides. Things are getting ready to fall off my table over here. All right, so you want this part at the bottom. So I'm just inserting it into the hole here. And inserting that there. I hope that's how it goes because so far this isn't making sense to me how it's going to stay together. Well, maybe it will. We'll just figure it out. I'm going to put this side in. Can't see because there's no, I can't get this over any further. Well, here we go. All right. And then insert that part there. And then you're supposed to twist it. Okay, so it's going down. Okay, so if I twist clockwise, it makes it go bigger. But if I counterclockwise and let's see. I'm not sure. I'm probably doing this wrong. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I want to I'm going to try to get it stretched out to where this is fully stretched. So that's what my intentions are here. And I'm still learning. So all right. Let me try this side so I can You're supposed to do them evenly. So I want to turn this one. See how this is coming out? And I'm going to keep them even so it goes this way. I have to turn this one too at the same time. So I'm going to do them both at, at once. And they go in the same direction. So I'm pushing my thumb to the left on both of them at the same time getting it stretched as far as it will. And it says do not overstretch because you can ruin your stretcher bars by over twisting. So you want it to be tight, but you don't want it to be over tight. I don't understand how these stay in if they are See, it's already getting tight, so, but this is as far as this will go on this side, so I'm going to finish tightening it on this side. Okay. And there we are. I mean, this is, it's not centered prop as perfect as I would like it, so I would actually need to straighten it up up here a little bit. So I'm not sure if I can do that while it's on the, while it's stretched like this, because it's stretched tighter over here than it is over here. So I need to pull this up more. And it said to tap it. But see, it's, it's super tight right there where it's holding it. So I would have to loosen it. Let's loosen it a little bit. So I loosened the tension so we don't have super tight and I don't know. It's okay. It's coming just a little bit at a time. Cause when you pull up on this, it gives you more of a tight grip. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I just kind of pushed the rod down a little bit with the card so that I'm able to move the fabric to get it the way I want it, um, to get it even. So that's how you would do that. Now let me tighten it back up to see if it is even now. Okay. It's still not, um, perfectly even. So that's what I would just keep doing to tighten it if um, 
this were the project I was using, but if you're using some, going to be doing something like I'm going to be doing, which is very large, so um, there's going to be excess fabric. So what you'll do is um, before you put these sidebars in, you can see, let me show you here, they're not coming out now. There's, there's no way for them to slip out. I was wondering how that was going to work, but so this extending it with the fabric being on there makes it where this stays. The, the fabric is actually what keeps it together because if the fabric wasn't there, these would just, these pieces would just slide right out. See, as I try to pull it up, it's pulling on the fabric. So the fabric is locking it in place basically. And uh, let's see, what was I going to say? Oh, right. So you would, what you would do is you would uh, take, before you put the sidebars on, you would take your frame, whichever side that you want to roll up the excess and you would roll. Let me actually give an example here. I can go ahead and pull these out on the sides. Okay. And so what you would do is you would roll it like this. And see, I could um, actually connect it like with it this small. So you can you can do it for whatever size you want, as long as it's the shortest it's gonna be is the length of from here from here to to the bottom of this. That's the shortest you're gonna be able to get your working area. So I'm just going to. See if I can get it attached this small. Let's see, I can get this side in. Trust me, I am knocking things over left and right in here. <laughs> All right, so there, I got that to fit in there. And I get this one all the way rolled down. Um, but I can't get it in because I probably should do them at the same time. Let's try that. No, that's tightening it. This is loosening it. No, I can't do it at the same time unless I do it like this. So that's just, I'm not going to be able to get it that small because in order to get your frame onto the ends, you have to be able to have room to be able to set them on. So I can't do it this small. I have to um, unroll it one time and then tighten it. So I unrolled it one time. So now I can get them to fit into the slots like that. And then we tighten it up and do the right side at the same time. So that's interesting that, so I was only able to do it a half turn because of how small this canvas is. But for the fact that this is meant for um, a very large project, uh, you know, that's not a problem for me because this is a still pretty small working area compared to the, the massive size of what the diamond, or not diamond painting, the um, cross stitches that I'm going to be putting on it. But now and you I'm, I don't have a lot of strength in my hands and so it doesn't take much to turn these it's a really lightweight wood so I'm, I'm just tightening them until I, they won't tighten anymore I'm not gonna over tighten them because I don't want to strip it or ruin it so there see and now this is extremely tight and that's perfect. I mean, it's it's straight and everything to where I need to have it. And you can see how taut that is. That is extremely taut. And there is a tool. You can find them on Etsy. I'm still trying to find one that I really like. But they're called the um, they're tensioners or something like that. Where you clip them onto your fabric and then it gets wrapped around the... Uh, bars on the side so it pulls the sides taut but on this I don't need it because this is actually very 
balanced. I mean, it's a lot of the times when you use scroll rods frames, the sides aren't as tight. Um, but I am pleasantly shocked at how tight this got, how tight I was able to get this. And I am very, I am very pleased. I mean, this feels like a tabletop. I mean, it is that solid. Um, I have a coin here. Let's see if you can watch it bounce. Yep. See that? Let's see if I can, I doubt I'm going to be able to do it sideways, but no, that just rolls off. <laughs> but look at that bounce. That's how tight this is. And this is awesome. I mean, so far it's worth the price. Just the fact that how well this tightens your fabric. I'm, I'm really shocked when I did it the first time and it was uneven and I had it on the, had the slot on the front side before I tightened it a little bit by flipping it to the bottom. I wasn't so sure how that was going to work with how loose it was, but now that I've got it in here properly, I am, I'm going to say so far it is worth the price. Uh, I mean, there's not much more to, to look at or to try and figure out whether it's worth the price other than what you what we just did here because you know that's about all you can really it's all all it does i mean it's lightweight and it will fit on my stand holder nicely but the the biggest thing is going to be whether or not i can fit my my canvas on here because this looks like it still might not be long enough i'm not sure i don't remember if there is a bigger size than this but i did get one of the largest size i know they have larger of uh, these to make these bigger but i didn't want a huge area to work with as it is i mean all the ones i have all my scroll rods are um to the point where they can just stack up against each other so i have room you know, for all my projects in one small space. But that is all there is to say about this purchase. I wrote everything down and let's make sure I got everything. Um, I did want to thank um, all of my Patreons, uh, pe you know, people who support my page um, support me through my Patreon, enable me to be able to purchase things like this so that I can do reviews for them and show you guys before you go and try and, um, spend the money and wait the four months and find that it wasn't something you wanted. So, so thank you very much to Ashley Zool, Shauna Ferry, Roxanne Bissett, and Dana Roberts, and my newest Patreon, Julia Spires, for joining the tier, uh, the second and third tier. All, if you join and you are supporting through one of those tiers, you get your name mentioned in my videos. And top tier also get to have a one hour private live stream with me once a month. And top tier also gets 10% off everything in my shop drill pen frenzy. So if you would like to join, and support my channel, I'd be more than happy to add you to my wonderful Patreon family. And you can find that link down below in the description box, or you can just go to patreon.com slash diamond painting my Donnie. I had so much fun with this video. I love getting new things like this that I am super curious about. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you as one of my subscribers. So hit that bell afterwards and you will be notified when I post new videos like this one or my diamond painting videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. So have fun diamond painting, have fun cross stitching or whatever craft it is you are into today. So don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.